go. I had to fight the crowd to get the, the Scott strawberries today. And I will cut the strawberries with a little knife. This is probably the only time you'll see me using the little knife. Now also this recipe, when I wrote it up and I could not figure out why, called for the regular jello pudding, or regular pudding, instant pudding. I don't know why they didn't go, because they went with the fat-free milk. So why that was, I don't know. But I decided to even cut the calories and the sugar content more by using the uh, sugar-free, fat-free pudding, which is when you're not, <coughs> when you don't have to worry about volume, you can do that, and it's, it's the same volume. So we're going to cut our strawberries. Okay, now I did wash these and put them back in the little container because when you do, when you take strawberries home, you know, we've talked about different produce when it's a great idea to, uh, while I'm cutting these, I also am going to pick out some ones that we're going to use for garnish. These are some pretty ones. When you take the produce home, like the cilantro or your celery or your whatever, you want to wash it ahead of time. There are a couple of things that you don't want to do that to. One of them is mushrooms, because they'll absorb the liquid. And the other, ooh, how pretty. The other is strawberries, or berries for that matter. Strawberries, raspberries, blackberries, because they will absorb the water and get mushy. So it's best to save the washing until you're ready to use them. A quart will make about three cups of strawberries. But don't forget to save out. Again, we're looking at the, um, with the recipe, you wanna save out six nice strawberries for your topping. This recipe is for six servings in parfait glasses. Now we're not going to have the chilling time that it does on the, because you'd want to let the sugar and the strawberries sit together for a little bit, and that would bring out the juice of the strawberries. Make them nice and juicy, have that extra little juice. Uh, here's our two tablespoons of sugar. Stir that up a little bit. Just set this aside till it gets a little juice on it. And we'll do the pudding, which is the two cups of fat-free milk. In a giant bowl. That's what happens when nobody's here to do the dishes. Now, the difference in you have to adjust the recipe for the difference in the two. The recipe called for the regular, I'm using the sugar-free, fat-free. So for example, on the um, 25 calories per serving, 90 calories. Uh, I need new glasses. Let's see, six carbs, 23. That's a huge difference. Uh, 18 sugars, none. Is that all we need to know? And fat, there was none in this until you add this, which when we're gonna add no uh, fat free, there's no fat. But just something to be aware of. So this is a little bit lighter on the carbs than what it says here by using this. So this would be one, a good substitution. Doesn't 
doesn't take long. Let that sit while we talk about our angel food cake. I got the angel food cake from the bakery. It was a big round one. This is about half of it. The other half is in um, our samples. And let's measure out a cup and a half. These are about half inch cubes. Because again, we're watching our serving size. And I don't think they mean like brown sugar. I <laughs> think you probably do a little bit of that, but not a whole lot. Okay. Um, what am I doing? Okay. There's one cup. about half. Here's what we have left. So remember, a cup and a half of cubes is not one angel cake. And this is to go into six servings. A what? Mm-hmm. Of each, uh, yeah. Okay, I'm, going, I'm just gonna do one. With, uh, let's see, we've got, I'm gonna put some cake in there, right? Cake first, I think so. Which works out to be a nice little, I think it was four pieces. Then we're gonna put some strawberry in. And what does it say? Fourth of a cup. Three tablespoons of pudding. So it's a pretty good serving size on this, if you don't fill it up with the cake. Put a little juice in there. Ah. I hate when that happens. But it looks real pretty. And it's real important to, and I, I the glasses that you're using. Because you don't want to, you know, it seems like some of the glasses we have, parfait glasses, are like this big and about that big around. Well, that's not one serving. So I, I like, um, there seems to be a whole trend of little tiny desserts in shot glasses or, you know, these tall, thin glasses. And I think, how wonderful is that? Because it gives us sort of, of, of a perspective on things. Plus, it looks like you could have two. So, or three, I think is the way I've seen it. Now, just for presentation's sake, we'll make a little tom uh, tomato fan, a little strawberry fan. Did everybody, see? I think we talked about this last time or time before. So we'll just put that on the top. And there's our little strawberry parfait.